Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. This is the Soul Family Read, a collective daily read. This is the weekend read, 26, 27, 28. Take Saturdays off. Um, and I'm reading here for manifestation, spirituality. Kind of pulled this one from my heart. Clued myself a little bit in this reading. Um, the rest of my channel, I do uh, love and relationship primarily. Here, I try to look uh, at ourselves and our own journey. Um, really around love and relationship, but in terms of manifestation, spirituality. Um, so it's a little bit uh, more personal read, hopefully a little more in depth. Um, and um, today is uh, Friday, so doing the weekend read. Friday's always Sagittarius Capricorn for the heart spread, which is couples read. And the singles read. Now, uh, if you have if you have know anybody that's single or you are interested and in, you're in uh, single energy, it's ter tarot story time I'm doing now. So kind of telling a story of uh, your single journey, um, which includes uh, the future. Um, so I kind of like that. First week I've been doing it, and I wasn't really happy with the other singles read. So today I want to do a Celtic cross uh, to kind of get an idea where we're at in terms of manifestation. Um, you know, we got the next solar eclipse coming in a week, uh, the 4th of December. That's the BFD on the radar. There's a lot of things going on in December. It's my month, guys. Um, and I just think the energy's going to get a lot lighter. And I really think Lionsgate is wrapping up now. This is it. If you haven't felt the manifestation, um, then uh, you're going to feel it this week. You know, I've been talking about this since before the Lionsgate. Um, and certainly held true for me. Um, so I'm really looking for just things to be lighter. It's been kind of rough. Uh, I think we're all been going through what's really ascension symptoms. You know, I used to believe in it, but believe me, I do now. The last couple of years has been heavy. You know, the download today for me was, um, you know, uh, the energy of the collective that's uh, repressive, and let's say that the old. Uh, paradigm of the you know uh, controlling uh, archetypes uh, whatever you want to call it um, even resisting it uh, they've managed to kind of twist that into their favor so in other words I'm really realizing now if I say anything uh, thinking that I'm trying to help I think a lot of us do that uh, it's not really helping it the only thing I can do is focus on myself and my own journey and raising my own energy and really just even just trying to contribute to it, it the society is sick it's like arguing with an alcoholic if, if you are seriously sitting and arguing with an alcoholic and you know they're drunk you know what you're what's that say it's not really about the alcoholic we're, we're really something's wrong and that's kind of what we're doing we're I'm trying to have a conversation or contribute or communicate with a society that is so mentally ill that even to participate with it um, is just it it's just goes nowhere I mean it's just sort of uh, increasing the problem um, so my thing is like I've learned to, to walk away from the news and stuff and TV for years but you know I still do get engaged and we got this Pluto return on us and I can kind of see what's coming um, but I'm learning more and more, you know, and that's what this reading is all about. Focus on my own energy. Focus on my spiritual journey. Focus on making myself the best David that I can be. And aligning David, ego self, as so much as I can uh, with my soul's path and my soul's journey. Step into the stream of my own uh, soul's path here, which is seen clearly to me in the astrology. That's why I'm an astrologer, really. I look at the astrology it's an our natal charts like a map a soul map of our soul's journey here what we're here for so we're going to go a little bit deep and try to look uh, with the Celtic cross I'm going to lay it out I'm going to start with the two of Pentacles do a little different lay this out and then read it uh, guys um, see if I can get it where you can see it so <clears throat> and this is what's crossing us the hanged man <laughs> okay that makes sense um, a past position we're not going to do reversals it's the ten of pentacles futures the six of pentacles well, i kind of like that this is your linear timeline here uh in celtic cross this is the energy that is mostly on our conscious minds right now god damn do i relate to that ten of wands this morning i almost couldn't do this reading 
uh, four cups because I can't do it if I'm not in the right hit and mindset. And it's just physical for me. I'm just this allergies. And I'm like telling myself, Jesus Christ, David, your mother wouldn't watch this reading if you're sitting there snotting all over yourself. Just had to try to get it together. Um, and mentally, I'm getting in a better place. And it's physically, it's just been a challenge. Unconscious four cups. That's kind of interesting. Now, uh, this is the... This is your personal part. If you're not familiar with Celtic Cross, this is the personal area. This is all it's sort of like the minor arcana area of um, our um, uh, Celtic Cross. And, you know, we only have the only thing crossing us is, that's a major arcana is the hangman. That's kind of interesting. The rest of this is really personal energy. Kind of like that. Okay. This is our advice, Page of Cups. And. This is outside influences. Death, we're in a transformation. Keeps coming up over and over and over and over and over. Death, 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 death. We're not gonna die. Some of us might die. It happens. But really, this is about the classic transformation. It's Scorpio energy. It's Pluto energy. Pluto opposite moon, you know. Um, two of swords. This is our hopes and dreams and wishes. Now I kind of being afraid to look. Let me put this over here. Hopefully you can see it. And then the outcome we'll put here is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so give me a minute here to look at this Celtic Cross. I really love the Celtic Cross reading. It, it, I use it a lot when I do personal readings. If people don't want a love reading, which I kind of hope you do, because that's my favorite, typically I want to use the heart spread. Um, but if pretty much if there's anything else um, to go with the Celtic Cross, it covers a lot of ground. So I like what I see in terms of the timeline, the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Because um, this is past energy, it kind of can show where we're at now. And that's being pretty solid, Ten of Pentacles, you know. Um, I like it. Um, when I think of it, you know, I'm not rich, uh, but I'm okay. You know, I have enough to eat, you know, I have a medicine that I need if I need it. Um, um, and I have love in my life, and um, there's really, um, I could definitely use a new laptop and a new phone, maybe a camera, do readings, but there's a lot of things, but basically I have what's necessary, you know, and I, I'm, in terms of manifestations, it's what I want this reading to be about, this is about manifestation, for me it's about wealth, for you, it could be something else, and health, wealth and health, that's what it is for me, and, um, the mentality has to be with the manifestation. You can't go around saying, oh my God, I'm broke. Oh my God, I'm poor. Oh my God, I'm broke. Oh my God, I'm poor. Oh my God, I'm sick. Oh my God, I'm going to die. Oh my God, I'm lonely. Oh my God, I'll always be lonely. Oh my God, I'll never have a lover. Because that's not how, that's never going to work. And I think with the Ten of Pentacles, it's us kind of getting that. And I kind of get it. Now we come in with the Two of Pentacles. That's where we're at right now. I also relate to that. The Two of Pentacles to me, it has nothing to do with a choice. The Two of Pentacles um, is about balancing our life. And again, I was saying the Minor Arcana is kind of what this area of the Celtic Cross is about. It's about the details of our life. It's where we roll up our sleeves and take charge of our life, have control in our life. It's our ego self. It's what we, the choices that we make, okay? Uh, the helm that we take in our life. Um, and this is the Two of Pentacles is us doing what we need to do to keep ourselves balanced, to keep going day to day, uh, to keep healthy, um, to keep uh, our house and, and keep our house and home together. Um, this could even be into keeping the relationship together. Two of Pentacles to me often speaks to the sixth house. Big deal for me. That's where Saturn's transiting for me. A lot of emphasis on daily routines. So this is about daily routines. It's um, you know, it's those little details, six houses, Virgo, details, discernment, those little details, the little things we do or don't do, the exercising, the brushing of the teeth, the, you know, um, getting the, the sleep that we need. Um, and that's what Two of Pentacles is, but it keeps us pretty busy um, with this Two of Pentacles energy. Like, you have to really focus. Now, crossing is the hangman, so, and blocking us is the hanged man. And I got to tell you, I, 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 I'm kind of wondering if this has to do with looking things from a new perspective. Normally I see the hangman as really more of a timeout energy. 
and I kind of feel I'm feeling that. Um, it, and now we go with the six of Pentacles in the future. This is reassuring. This is becoming more balanced. You know, the two of Pentacles energy is kind of tough. Like it, that's really working to to get yourself straight. That's it takes an effort. You know, like you have to get up in the morning and maybe you don't want to go for a walk, but you do it because Pentacles something you have to do. It's for your health. You know that kind of energy. When we're in the Six of Pentacles energy, I think it's coming more naturally. It's like maybe that means like we've been doing the routine for such a period of time that it becomes more natural here with the Six of Pentacles. But look, we got Pentacles all the way across. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, you know. Um, and then Seven of Pentacles is the outcome. That's not to be taken lightly, okay? Um, and this too could be a different perspective. Um, the reason I see the different perspective is when we go, uh, here's linear time, now we're going into the conscious and unconscious. And consciously, I just got to tell you, I'm still worn out. I am so worn out, so worn down, and I keep, I, I kind of knew, back in like May, uh, I kind of, I really had plans to go and travel. And I realized then, Dave, you need to rest. You know, so I kind of went to ground uh, and I thought to myself, well, you know, I'm going to need a few months, you know, to kind of collect myself and get my energy going and get straight. And then I realized I'm going to need a year. <laughs> I'm going to need a year. So I know it's, it's really going to be really next summer before I really get out of this 10 of wands energy. It's like um, just on me right now. Um, it's uh, again like that two of pentacles. It's difficult. It takes effort, you know. And down here, the Four of Cups, that kind of concerns me when I saw that, because this is in our unconscious, and I am 100% feeling this today. It's like I just sort of don't want to do anything. I don't feel I have any interest in anything. You know, it could be like a little bit of depression. And I think it's because with this hangman, it's mostly about delays, delays, delays. Um, the health that I wanted is delayed, even though I'm really doing a lot more than I've ever done in the past to take care of myself. And I have a lot of help, okay? My girlfriend's a chiropractor and a nurse, and she's really like a empath, and she's a curiandra. She, we go over to the park, and she's getting all these flowers and plants, and she's telling me we'll use this for that, and we'll use this for that. And I just drank this tea today that was quite a concoction, and it did kind of help clear up my... Uh, issues I'm having with the sinuses and stuff and congestion. So I got all the help in the world, but God damn it, it just seems like it's taken forever, you know? And I'm a Sagittarius and I've been down so long. There's Jim Morrison in the doors. I've been down so goddamn long that it looks like up to me comes to mind. I think of that song. And um, um, it just kind of emotionally makes you feel like, you know what? You know, I'm just kind of not into this. And that's a tough energy, but I'm not in the mood to, or I'm not uh, inclined anymore to disparage or disregard my feelings. And this is my feeling. I think it's important that we acknowledge it. And it's directly because, look, it's directly because we feel burdened. There's been a lot going on, a lot we have to do. i, I got to be honest with you. I've felt this way for months and months and months. Like I'm just on the border of being overwhelmed. Just I can't. Do everything I want to do, I can't get it done in one day. And it and I think like even if I was healthy, I probably couldn't get everything in one done. But right now, not being healthy, it's such a struggle. Um, I have a good energy and uh, it's lasting a little longer. Um, but like somebody wanted to do a reading and uh, they really could only do it in the evening. And um, uh, astrology, which takes some time. Now I can do the work. It takes me hours of work to prepare for an astrology reading, depending, and take days sometimes. Um, and I can do that, you know, when I'm fresh. But to sit and talk for someone who just takes an hour and a half at eight or nine o'clock at night, it's it's hard to explain to them. Like I, my energy's just shit by then. So it was quite a challenge, you know. Uh, I had to really kind of uh, take uh, care of myself that day, particularly. And I was trying everything to do, work out another day, or we could maybe do this in the afternoon or on the weekend. Um, and so, even though it's getting better, I'm still feeling the hangman energy, and I'm getting damn tired of it, and that can be just that too. It's just damn tired. 
in terms of manifestation it could be i get the feeling like it's still not coming in and if someone is you know, giving me a message uh, let me know what you think make a comment here about this if you're feeling this it's like i gotta tell you how i feel it's like i'm doing everything right ten of pentacles two of pentacles six of pentacles but i'm still like treading water i'm still just i'm running as fast as i can just to stay in the same place that's a hangman now this is advice and um when you look at the four of cups and then you look at this you know this is so different it's being open the child mentality an open child's heart um and you know having a light heart uh, having an open heart um being a uh, free feeling free like a child just to kind of be um, and you know that's advice I could take now that's uh, this is challenges from outside influences here and boy the death card couldn't be any stronger and potent um, so I think a lot of what now all of this this side of the Celtic cross is kind of major arcana these are all whether they're major con or not this is the area of things that are bigger than us the outside influences here um, this is spirit, you know, your spirit, your God, your angels, however you look at it, source, God, Buddha, whatever um, you think um, is giving you this advice. It's kind of like, you know, hang in there because you're going to have this start um, in this. This is kind of like maybe this is what it's going to be after death. You know, we start again with an open heart and kind of like a clear plate. Um, but what's challenging us is that we're still in this energy of transformation. I gotta tell you, I wasn't a big believer in ascension symptoms and everything, or even just the whole concept, but damn, I am now, uh, because I feel it. And, you know, I've worked with so many psychics as an astrologer. I love to do charts for psychics, empaths. I've done a lot. And so, um, it's one of the things that it really makes me the happiest to be able to work with someone in that way. And I really think that this is probably applying to a lot of us. You know, we're, we're in this energy, and that's why we're in the hangman energy. Because you're a pupae, you're in that pupae, and you know, dreaming your pupae dreams. And especially if you're a fire sign like me, and you, you're finally feeling your energy coming back, and you want to get going, I want to get going. But it's like, <laughs> you know, a little bit, a little bit. You know, um, I'd like to say it's a little stronger, you know, a little more oomph before now, um, but still it feels really slow. And, you know, hopes and dreams and wishes. This is uh, hopes and dreams, really. This is a reading here for Celtic Cross. Two of Swords. Um, you know, I got to be honest with you, it's kind of my mindset today. Um, it's like, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Um... And I think that goes a lot. Uh, hopes and this, in a Celtic cross on the way you read it, it's the position of your hopes and dreams. You relate that a lot to the unconscious energy in your personal space. And that couldn't line up any better. It's like we're turning away and having a disinterest. This is an interest in life. This is taking that childlike interest in life, in love, opening up, being curious, being alive. And this is not, you know. This is kind of being closed down, shut down um, emotionally and now mentally. Um, and not being able to think about uh, what we can do, uh, how we can succeed, how's the manifestation going. Maybe that's the help of this reading. Um, and the outcome is, with the Seven of Pentacles as an outcome here, and remember we have all these pentacles in our, our timeline. Um, and we end up with the Six of Pentacles in our future energy, being stable. I think what this is going to be is, our outcome is going to be, it's uh, when you think of spirituality, you think of Neptune, you think of everything that you can't wrap your knuckles on. Pentacles are things you can wrap your knuckles on. And so I think what we're going to end up finding, and this is great in terms of manifestation of wealth here and health. Pentacles, I feel, do point directly to wealth and health. And so that's what you're interested in particularly. And I think that it means it's going to require a real discernment, you know, um, coming. And I think this is kind of a future 
It might come after the fourth, what we're talking about. So we might be surprised. And this is not the energy of things being handed to us. This is the energy of us taking stock of everything that we have in a very practical and real way. And finding, I think, this is where I'm going to clarify the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> mm. Finding that we have, remember I said I don't have enough time in the day? Find that we really have to let go of things. And I've been talking about Mars. Had some readings about Mars and Mercury getting together, making a hit list, deciding what, what's going to stay, what's going to go, who's going to stay, who's going to go. And that's what this is all about right here. Um, this is not anyone breaking up with us here. Um, it's about us kind of breaking up. And, and, I, and this is not really about, it could be, it is a time when we're shifting and changing. Honestly, if you're shifting and changing right now, you're, you're out of sync. Because that should have done, been done before Lionsgate, in my opinion. And so by Lionsgate, the new energy is coming in, the manifestations coming in. It's part of a long cycle. It's going to be 20 years at least for everyone. And, you know, so if you haven't done it now, I mean, look, you look at it this way. The eclipse is coming on the 4th. So you've got until the 4th to do this. And it's uh, this could be, we could literally sit down and make a list, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. I think what we're going to find is by the 4th, things start to shake out. But it's not going to just happen. But we're going to find ourselves in the energy of making this happen. You know, um, deciding that we don't want to give our energy to this or that, whatever it is. Not so much a person, I don't think. Um, you know, one of the things I, I was just saying, I don't want to give my energy. The download that came to me today is just don't give your energy to the discussion about the world. And, and uh, you know, that's a little hard for me, but that's very strongly coming. That's one of the things I have to do that. I have to make that decision just to focus. Where am I going to focus my attention? I, you know, I, I could spend the whole day just doing astrology and, you know, I'm doing the tarot readings, doing a lot of them. And I love doing that. I like to read the astrology into it more and more. You know, but it doesn't really leave me a lot of time to, to even look at, the, you know, just to find information about the world is damn near impossible. If you're just watching the cable news, I mean, I'm sorry, but that's just raw propaganda. So that, that's a complete waste of time. And then if we get into arguing with it, that's what we need to stop doing. For me, anyway, that's what that is. Just stop it and um, redirecting our energy. Because remember, in the future, we have the Six of Pentacles. And the way we're going to keep that balanced, you know, let's leave our energy. Um, the way we're going to keep that balanced is by making hard and real decisions about real and actual things. You know, I think a, a collectively what I see here, there's a lot of talk about the great uh, uh, quitting uh, that's going on. People just quitting these uh, bullshit jobs that don't pay anything and no benefits. And, you know, the corporation making greater profits. Here he goes. Yeah, I'm in it again. But I think that's what this is. It's like maybe collectively everyone's sort of doing this and deciding, do we really want to give our time to bullshit jobs that don't pay any money? Do we want to give our time to bullshit things like fucking TikTok or uh, Facebook or, you know, political stuff or whatever it is, you know, certain friends. Do we really want to go? I remember like going and people would go and spend hours and hours at the bars and drink and laugh and have fun. And I just was miserable. And I was like, this is not what I want to do with my time. I don't want to spend time sitting at a bar for three or four hours shooting the shit with people that I don't even really relate to that much. You know? And so it's things like that. Practical things that we have to uh, uh, take uh, responsibility for and make changes. Um, and with the Three of Swords, it does kind of imply this is the mind. This is in the mind. I don't really think this is so much words here. This is a feeling. So remember, our thoughts. So what's our thoughts? So um, it's not going to be easy. Whatever we have to do, there's going to be a challenge to it. And it's going to feel like we're letting go. Remember with the transformation, we're in a transformation. That's pod, That's for sure, okay? So what happens? Something has to die. And that's the Three of Swords when something dies. I mean, unless you're a sociopath, when something dies, it hurts. I don't think there's sociopaths here. So this hurts, whatever it is. You know, uh, it's going to take a bite out of us, guys. Um, so I kind of think it's what this weekend's going to be. 
but you let me know what you're thinking of this and I appreciate it. If you can think of anywhere to share this old family read, think Terrence McKenna, find the others, where I'm going for with this. And uh, please share on any platform you can think of, help me out. Uh, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, comments help me. Feel free to comment, I'm interested to see what you think of this anyway. Um, and um, how it's working for you. Is it resonating? I'd love to know that. And if you haven't, do subscribe, hit the bell, and um, thank you guys.